So we are checking out the ray tracing. Ray tracing on. We got ray tracing on high. They just added the new graphics to this game. We're playing on 60 FPS because Twitch can't be streamed past 60. And I turned off lens distortion, depth of field, motion blur because they're sort of annoying. And lens flare, I could take it or leave it. I'm going to keep it on because I don't mind it. I'm JJ Abrams. Let's check the game out. I am going to play on hardcore because Nightmare and Inferno are just not fun, unfortunately. Uh, and if you are mad I'm not playing Inferno, well, go to my YouTube. I have five or six no death, no save Inferno speedruns on there. You can go watch those if you want. Oh, we get to see Gorkus. Two things about this intro. Really quick. I love that it's real actors and real scenes because it reminds me of RE1. Okay, but at the same time, it's disappointing because RE3 original has one of the best intros in the franchise. So it would have been so cool to see it remade, but. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Now that's a man I trust with my life. <laughs> it's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Hell yeah, dude. I do like this intro, though. Oh, Gorkus. They nailed the music in this game and the sound design. And the gameplay. Agreed. Love the gameplay in this game. Guys, we weren't supposed to get the good stuff out of the way right, right off the bat. Look at the rays being traced. Look at the rays being traced, guys. Look. You know what would have been sick? This costume. May I ask, why can't you switch to this costume? You can switch to casual Leon and casual Claire. It's so weird that you can't play casual Jill. Or even better, zombie Jill. My god, the graphics are good in this game. PTSD. I love Jill. I love the backstory they give her here. Like, it's worse every night. um, the stars, the stars picture. Uh huh. Uh, I think that's one thing RE3 didn't do well is introduce Jill's character again. Yeah, Nicole Tompkins did an amazing job. 
By the way, let it be known. I gotta say this at the start. God, this looks good. The, you can see the rays being traced real time right now. Let it be known. No matter how much shit I talk about this game, it's about being a remake. Um, but all the characters and the voice actors for every character did a fucking phenomenal job. Every character they nailed in this game. They did such a good job with the characters. Like, honestly, the game, they did such a good job with everything in this game, except the content. Like, that's the only problem. It's just like, where is everything? That's, that's like the main issue. If, if you guys don't know, before we get started, because everyone's going to complain in the comments on YouTube, everyone's going to complain in chat, I'm going to complain. Um, but that's, that's the main thing. It is no choice, no choices cut out so much. There's, there's like freaking 30, 40 cutscenes from RE3 because of the choice based system, extra cutscenes. Um, they cut out entire areas, yada, yada, yada. Like I said, 70% of RE3 original is not here. Uh, so that's everyone's major problem. Just to get that out of the way, because everyone's always wondering like, oh, why do people hate RE3? I think it's good. It is good. It is good. It's a great game, um, but it's a horrific remake, unfortunately. God, look at those rays being traced. Oh, oh, look at the tracing. Oh, holy moly. Oh, I picked the costume already. Oops. Hey, girl. I love this, Jill. The game only makes me sad once you go into the sewer. It's funny, the, um... The demo? They knew exactly what they were doing with the demo to this game. The demo makes you think this is like the best remake of all time. And then the actual game is like, Oh yeah, by the way, after the demo, no RE3 is left. Let's do this. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. They nailed the soundtrack. But you know why they nailed it? It's the same dude. <laughs> God, the first the first two hours of this game are so good. Well, I don't like how they introduce Nemesis. I think it's much weaker than the original. There's no build up. He's just he's just instantly he's there. <clears throat> That was silver tainted glass, like from the quarry. No, I think on my first playthrough when I took my sweet ass time, I took my sweet time. My first playthrough was six hours and 10 minutes. 
And I explored every, every nook and cranny. Yeah, and I, and I was on the longer side. Um, all right, here we go. RE6 time. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. God, the music. I still listen to some music from this game in my spare time. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Thank you, that guy that crits for the sub, by the way. Oh, a demon! Oh my god, demon! Are you still here? I hope so. Uh oh. A lot of people bail when I boot up this game. <laughs> Wonder why. Demon, please. You okay? What was that thing? Tim to find though, but right now it's got a hard on to the only two stars left in town, you and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Give me one second, guys. Admire the graphics. This all happened so fast. Man, as I said, this is the this is the game that you will see the better graphics much easier. Um, ray tracing affects this game heavily because you're outdoors with all these bright lights everywhere. Like even the puddle there, th like. If you can't see the difference right now, you never will. This is a this this area is a huge example of what it how it affects a game. Am I crazy? Any graphic snobs in the chat back me up? I am a spep. Hey, look, look, look! Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! Isn't that ironic? A helicopter flying away from Brad as he screams, wait. It, it blows my mind how good the first bit of this game is. Or, like, give or take, like, opinion-wise, like, it may, a lot of people probably love Nemesis showing up right away. Like, that's so fucking cool. He's right there, right off the bat. Yeah, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, and there he is. But I'm much rather the slow build-up of, like, in RE3 original, Brad's, like, there's, there's no escape! Yada yada yada! And then you're, you like, you hear about him and hear about him and then you're slowly getting the RPD and then BOOM! He just shows up right in front of you, murders Brad immediately and then comes right for you. I love that intro for the original. Um, I heavily prefer that. But, um, I do think they handled... I think they handled Brad aside from his death really well in this game. There's, there's Nemesis's dropship. I, the only hope now for a really good open world, like, like Raccoon City horror game. Outbreak remake. We can only hope that an outbreak remake, if it ever happens, we can go in buildings. We actually see the outbreak occurring real time like this. Like, like, the pa sorry, I'm just very passionate about Resident Evil 3 and this game, but, um, I really hope one day we get to see exactly what's happened in the past, like, 15 minutes. Like, what, everything we just seen, but way bigger scope. Like, like, for hours as opposed to ten minutes, you know what I mean? Look! Look who's on the sign! Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Yeah. Uh. 
Oh, Brad. Yeah, I had a small FPS dip there. But yeah, just to dive further on like the whole feeling like outbreak and stuff. I wish the first of this, like, I wish, I wish the intro of this game didn't feel like you were getting sucked through a vacuum. Like the game is just pushing you through. Like it is telling you not to go back, not to explore. It's just pushing you through Raccoon City so you can get to the demo content. And every chance for exploration is blocked off. Dario's big roll. Here it is. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can. The only it. safe place is in here. Mm. Uh, so this is the first room of Resident Evil 3. You guys see? Um, so there's the first save room. This is where you end up the warehouse. Um, if you guys didn't follow it. When Resident Evil 3 Remake was first shown, um, there were heavy rumors that Dario was going to play a much bigger role in the game. And that's it. He just played it. She's trying to kill me! Stop that! You're going to hear from my lawyer! Stop that! My brother-in-law is a lawyer! That's a nice touch. There's that bloom. I don't know how to dodge this guy without skipping the cutscene. Thank you, Goin. Thank you for the three gifted subs. Thank you. Ball, baby. I'm going to show some cool deaths because I want to, and I'm sure you guys have not seen them, but... They should make a mod where you can go back to these areas later in the game or somehow. I do hope this is never going to happen, but I hope one day, whether or not it's 10 years, 20 years, 30, I hope we actually get a proper remake one day. Mods won't do it for me. Or not not even a remake. I just hope one day they're like, here, here, finally, quit your fucking bitching. Director's cut. Nemesis never turns into a dog. Here's the clock tower. Here's the park. Here's the waste disposal factory. Here's everything else in between. Like, here's everything you missed. Here, here instead of Raccoon City being an hour, it's now three hours. Enjoy. It's never going to happen, but... Um, yeah, Schneider's cut. Alright, so I'm going to show some deaths here. I don't know where the checkpoint will be, but... You guys will like these if you haven't seen them.
damn it. It's my turn, bitch. Oh, here we go. Pretty brutal, honestly. It's my turn, bitch. Bitch, yeah. Oh. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Hold. Such a good reveal of his face. Get fuck faced. Hey, the easy way, I got you. Who are you? What do you do? Name's Carlos, and I'm saving you. <laughs> I love Carlos in this game. I think most people love Carlos in this game. Like, love or hate his hair, but he's a great character. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, it's, we're gonna have to go around. Never mind, it's too woke. They're acting like humans. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen. I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, we're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. But I don't know anything about all that. I think it's here where you have to stand and he says something extra, right? Oh, that was the extra? You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the show. Now, I'm not memeing when I say this. This way. But from this point to the sewer is the best part of the game by far, and then the hospital is another great part. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. The city's been cut off. Carlos, My wiener hurts. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Mikhail's awesome in this. Her name is something Valentine. The characters are so it's great. Jill. But it's salt nice in the wound. <laughs> to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Hey guys, look at how good our game is. How's that going for By the way, you? fuck you! The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. 
My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. <laughs> yes. Well, we are doing all we Read can. Read the room, haters. This if is the best game of all time. Subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. First things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. We'll find supplies there. All right. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I will miss. First aid spray, real time, baby. Nothing he'll miss, get it? Oh, I know, Failmore. I was trying to think of something snarky to say, but I decided against it. Yeah, people hate this. People will find any reason to hate this, Jill. But I'll give, I'll give you the real reason people hate this, Jill, because it's not... Julia Voth, and that's that's most people. Now you can just have your reasons, but most people, it's because it's not Julia Voth, and that's how it is. Yeah, I think this is the best Jill in the franchise. I'm not joking. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Movie Jill. I like how they tried to change Jill's costume in the movie so many times, and then eventually they're just like, you know what? Fuck it, guys. Just keep her. <laughs> just keep her in the ridiculous costume. Huh. Looks off about that. I, my res might be screwy. Wait, do I have super resolution on? I don't. Oh. Train moving. The sound effects already, like I just played RE2 remake, the sound effects for the guns are already way better. Please! Yeah, of, of all games, of 7, 3, and 2, like 7 obviously got the biggest graphics jump in general, but... Game looks great. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Classic.
her face. I had to check if I forgot if she started with the lockpick or not. Um, I guess we can heal. Oh, well, both Resident Evil 2 has great sound design as well. Uh oh. Why are you? That'll do. The dodging is really fun, yeah. The gameplay is really, really fun. Speedrunners hate this guy. <laughs> this is the worst zombie in the speedrun. I mean, you can take off zombie limbs in the game, but they just disappear. Why? Because he's just, he's just causes a lot of resets. Let's take this whole thing with us. That's not right. It's like it's raining in here. Hmm. See that? It's definitely a graphical glitch. You bastard. I was supposed to be far enough away. Three seven. Wish we got to see Adriville and Safspin Lady. Ugh. Long neck got an upgrade. Ugh. 
It's him again. Seven. All right, personal gripe, personal gripe. I know the difference between an actual objective bad thing about a game and a personal thing. My favorite pistol ever is from... My favorite pistol ever is from uh, Resident Evil 3 original, and that is the Eagle. They got rid of the Eagle in this game. Well, they got rid of all the extra guns in this game, but... Pain, 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 pa 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 pain, pa 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 pain, pa 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 pain, pa 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 pain, pa 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 pain, pa pain, pa pain, pa pain, pa pain. Sorry about that. Yo, thank you, Nub Zombie, for the raid. How was your stream? What are we up to? Welcome, everybody. I am Bak Basu, local streamer here on Twitch. Thank you, Not Really Good Games, for the Prime Gaming. Uh, but yeah, welcome, Nub. An awesome streamer. Make sure to go follow. Um, we're just t we're just checking out the new graphics in RE3, and uh, we just played RE2, both scenarios or two scenarios. Oh God, two scenarios and. Um, now we're checking out three. Thank you, Kid Nichols, for the Prime Gaming. Uh, I haven't noticed. Do Silent Hill 4 item and weapon and enemy randomizer. Oh, cool. That's awesome. It, it, did you just play that for the... Um... Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Is that uh, for the GOG version? Cool. Yeah, I'll definitely try that. Was it fun? You really, you don't really see a difference. Here, guys, a lot of people keep saying that. Here, here, one sec. You know what? I'll finally do a comparison. Ready? Because this is a good place to do it because there's a lot of lights on. Okay? I just need to kill these two zombies. This update is for no one except visual snobs. You good, bro? Don Leguizamo? Man, this is... Yeah, yeah, um, so you have to log on or uh, quit out to see the upgrade, but Okay, just let me get some ammo Okay Just for you guys, let's do a comparison. Ready? You're gonna have to pay close attention. You won't see it if you don't. All right, so just look at the lighting for the most part. This isn't the best area to check it out, but it works.
¿Sí? Ya. See the, the shine. See the those black spots also have a bit of shine to them. Okay. Shadow. Basically, ray tracing affects the way light works in games. All right, so we took a look. Okay. All right, now I have to log off. Let's turn it off. Uh. Yeah, and there was, like, there was a huge issue with, um, with some of the lighting in, that got fixed. And I am so prepared for everyone to say it doesn't look any different. Well, like I said, um, this isn't the room, the greatest room to show it off in, but I, it's the only save room I'm close to. That looks terrible. <laughs> and the like the way the lights are reflecting here. Let's see if it's like this when we booted it back up. This looks awful. Like this looks like this is not. Look, you can see the grid in the window. <laughs> All right, let's start back on. Oh, I guess we don't have to save again. I wonder if that'll still be like that when we turn ray tracing on. Did it even turn on? No. Oh. Go look at that same part and see if it fixes it. No, I'm not using HD. <laughs> there isn't even green in the window, as there shouldn't be. All right, so you see the things it fixed? Now is it easier to see? Yeah, now it's actually reflecting. <gasps> like, you won't notice unless you look around. But there's a lot of mo places in this game where, um... If you switch around the graphics, you can actually see a big difference. Like, if only we had a button just to press, you would be able to see it for sure. But, like I said, and I'll say it a thousand times, this, this update is for just visual snobs. If you're not, if you're not the kind of person that, like, if you can't look at a TV and be like, this is an 8K, 4K, 1440, or 1080, you probably you will not see stuff like this. It almost looks and like the, I could get this working. And I'm not like calling people right. stupid. I can't tell, I can't, I'm not a visual snob. Like, I, I can tell if things are changed, usually, but I'm not, like, you know, I, I can handle 1080p still for all my stuff, and, um, but yeah, it doesn't mean anyone's stupid or anything like that, it's just, 
It's meant for certain people. I, I explained it earlier. Like, I use my brother as an example. My oldest brother, when we used to watch movies, he'd freak out if the picture wasn't perfect. Like, he'd be there tinkering with the TV, making sure everything was just right. And when... So, we'd be watching a movie, and I'd be like, it looks fine, what are you talking about? He's like, no, it looks terrible. He'd go tinker with the TV for like 10 minutes. Then 10 minutes later, guess how different it looked to me? None. And he's like, perfect. Now it's watchable. That was unwatchable before. And I'm sitting there thinking like, I can't see a difference at all. Like, I don't know what the hell you're doing back there. So it's for people like him. He will notice in like a heartbeat. But for like your average person, they don't care. And a lot of people are just content knowing like, like guys, an update came out for Resident Evil and it looks better. That's enough for most people. They're going to play it and then they're gonna, and in their brain, it's just going to make this looks better. Everything looks better. Um, and that's good enough for a lot of people. Audio is the same way, dude. Like... That's why I, when someone brings up my audio is bad sometimes, that's why I spend so long trying to fix it and making sure that it's bad or not just someone doesn't know. Um, cause I don't like having bad audio. I am sort of an audio snob. But I find audio very hard to nail every stream because you play all these different games from all these different eras and everything sounds vastly different than everything else. And, um, and I can't hear it myself when I'm streaming, so. He was infected. Oh, do I have the lockpick now? I do. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's from New Game Plus. Oh, shit. I thought that was the item box. Yeah. <laughs> he was infected. Don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not an infected. No, 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 wait, please! No. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self preservation. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Go back to the subway station. All right, guys, I'm going to link you a video of mine from YouTube. It's on one of my channels. I'm just working on improving. And by working on, I mean, I haven't touched it in a fucking long time. But I will. I will. This is um one of them. Uh, this is a clip from one time I was using a mod to play this game. And I was just playing as a civilian. Um, but please watch it. But I'm going to explain first. Uh, I found it funny because he's like, where's your sense of self-preservation? And I'm playing as a zombie. And a zombie has no sense of self-preservation. So I found it fucking hilarious. But yeah, there. That's, that's in like the top three times I've laughed the most in my entire stream. Another one being when I read the, the one man's meat is another man's poison. So it's very similar to that. No, I don't want to watch myself laugh on stream, but you guys can watch it there if you want to. Um. Oh no, the dog section. This part is hard, dude. I gotta save it. Oh, get ready for a good song, by the way. Do your own math, yeah. City of Ruin. God, I want Outbreak so bad. Imagine Outbreak, but like this, like the first, but not everywhere is, literally everywhere is closed off. Like every time you could turn left or right, you can never turn one of the ways because it's just barricaded. Um, God, I hope we see an Outbreak remake. That'd be so fucking sick. And explore Raccoon City, explore everything. Oh. Oh, thank you, Simpson. Nice FPS, Ethan.
non-existent zombie she exists a one tap Oh, one thing, when switching from RE2 to 3, one thing that always gets me is that you actually use the grenade, like you have to switch to grenades as a main weapon. Yeah, isn't that clip funny? Funny looking. No! Whoa, my FPS dropped a lot there. I didn't dodge because in the speedrun you can run by and she doesn't grab you, but I guess I didn't take a good line. Hey, can I have some pistol ammo? Oh, stars, they're soft. Yeah, they are, so. Inferno speedrunner does casual playthrough. Oh, smells like Oh, I don't even want to think about it. I have 680 hours in RE2 original or RE2 remake, sorry. I have 169 in this game. I stopped running this very quickly. Like once I got my Inferno, like no death no or no death run of Inferno. That was like I was sort of done at that point. Oh my god. Master of unlocking, baby. I'm going to refill my coffee after this segment. Because I'm the master of refilling my coffee. Zack. Wait. some buggy sounds from my I have no ammo please don't come for me The ammo's in a box here. I can't get it either. Should have brought my knife. Well, I could get it. Got it. Free YouTube comments. Come on. Not good. I'm dead. Oh. Can I? Oh, you can't even dodge when you're in fact. Oh.
The babies. They stop moving. I need to actually bring my knife. Oh no! Gross. Zach, let me get my knife. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I do not have the ammo for this section. Or I mean, I do. Because you can go through this and not even be touched, but... The knife is so bad in this game. If you guys don't know, the knife's god tier in RE2 Remake. And it's so bad in this one. There we go. And shoot stuff. Oh, for those who don't watch the run or have never watched this game or whatever else, this is the main reset point. This is like, this is the basement of RE3 Remake. I'm like dropping frames in game. And it's the main reset point because it's just RNG, just like the basement. Do this. Uh, I don't think you ever see those bugs again now. Which is sort of for a set piece. I mean, you, you guys gotta realize I'm not ragging on the game by saying this. This game is like all set pieces. Um, so that's our first. And then, well, not really. The, the whole intro is like... This game is was made almost like a movie where it's like... The game just pushes you through a section and the section is supposed to come off as like really cinematic. Um, and so as far as the game's concerned, that enemy has served its purpose. <clears throat> yeah. Ouch. Oh. Bork, go, bork, go. You guys remember how tough the nemesis fights were in um, RE3 uh, original? Uh, by the way, the reason I'm talking is if no one's played the game is because I asked before the stream who Carlos, who played this or hasn't seen it, and a lot of people haven't. Nice going. Thank you, Joel, for the 24 months. Traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Unfortunately, all I can tell you is that it's somewhere in the area. You don't even know what building? Oh, that's helpful. Thanks, partner. I try. Not your partner. Runeby, how is the epic day off? Um. Yeah, just wait. So you know how Nemesis won? The first Nemesis fight in RE3 Originals, like legitimately one of the harder fights in all of Classic RE. Like it's like, you can watch people. I watched a few streamers get stuck on that fight for literally hours and a few of them when they finally beat it, they just cheesed him and did the speed strat where you get him stuck. Uh, and a lot of people did that. Um. Now, we are on hard mode, 
So, guys, prepare for an insane battle, just like original RE3. Oh, here it comes. Oh. We got him. We got him. Holy shit, that was hard. Okay, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. That was close. And what do we get? Oh, oh, wait, wait, don't, I'm not gonna look. In the original, we got one piece of a gun and another piece to make a gun called the Eagle, one of the coolest pistols in the franchise. What do we get in this game? The remake. Extended mag. Remake, by the way. Now, a lot of people forget to... Uh, now I'm gonna start ripping on the game for the rest of the stream. Just kidding. A lot of people tend to forget this. And keep this in mind when you're ready to defend people attacking RE3 Remake. Because a lot of people love defending it. Um, and I defend aspects of it. Like the characters, the, the, the graphics, the sound design. Um, a remake is supposed to improve. It's supposed to take the original. And look for this in RE3 or 4 Remake. It's supposed to take what... The things that are bad and make them far better and take the things that were already good and either keep them there or make them even better than that. Not make them worse. Carlos, that thing is still alive. It's after me. What? Run. And you're going to see that trend a lot as we play through the rest of the Not game. Until I get traffic control online. Uh, well, RE2, RE2 may have made that mistake in one or two aspects. This game made it in about 10 or 20, so. But uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think this counts as a new fight, so I'm not gonna... No, I don't know how long the dev time was for each. All I know about this game was the dev was like a nightmare. Like, they were on a time crunch. It was already a nightmare to begin with. They didn't have enough money. They didn't have enough anything, really. And it wasn't made by Capcom. That's, that's something as well. <laughs> But I think that's pretty obvious. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. Yeah, I, I really hope it's not looking good, but I expected them to change a lot of reverse, but. Alright, yeah. Where the train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program I'm gonna point these out because hey, we are I'm playing the video problem. game. Consider it done. This is the only puzzle and the solution's just right above you. you. You look up and you input it. Um There's another puzzle, but it's literally the puzzles just spam. RE three original has the most puzzles in the franchise. And all of them are RNG, so there's different solutions every single time you play the game. So you can't just go play and input the same solution, you have to do the puzzle again. This game has the least. Another example of uh, weird remake things. Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. I finished inputting the subway route. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. 
Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway is ready to depart. Yeah, may maybe CVX is up there. RE3 has a ton, though. I could try and think of them. Um, I mean, it, it honestly depends on what you call a puzzle, but regardless, the point stands. If you count that all the puzzles are RNG, then this one definitely. Or, sorry, then RE3 original definitely. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be there. Hey, I'm scared, I'm scared. Is there something we forgot? This is the eagle. The fancy box. I think that's everything? I am playing hardcore, yeah. And that is the end of, um, I'm just, this is just for those who haven't watched, because there's a lot of people who watch this for the first time. That's the end of all the RE3 original content. 90% of the rest of the game is new stuff, or changed stuff. And why I say 90 is you do go to the gas station, but it's a cutscene. And you do go to the clock tower, but just the entrance, or just the, the driveway. Um, you do go to the hospital, but the hospital sucks in RE3 original, and it's just completely, it's not even recognizable. The only thing the same in the hospital is that you use the, the, the talkie. You use the voice recording for the door. And you do go to the RPD station, except you go there as Carl. That, that's honestly, um, I think the biggest, one of the, easily one of the biggest things about this game that I, they really dislike is, and there's no denying this, they need, this ain't even up for, this ain't even up for debate. Jill works at the RPD station. Jill knows Marvin. She knows all the cops that work there. Jill doesn't visit there. And that's where... One of the most iconic, two of the most iconic moments happen. Brad's death and Nemesis smashing, the first Nemesis jump scare smashing through the window downstairs. Um, the Carlos segment where he goes there, it's cool and all, but like the fact that Jill doesn't go there is insane. It's like anti fan service. Um, let's take the shotgun. Uh. 
and and it's it's actually was revealed why they did that um I believe this is the reason I may be a little off but originally and there's a way you can actually see this where's my knife oh sorry I was looking at this as like the it has the same uh, icon as the infinite ammo knife in RE2 remake um They originally Jill was gonna go there. They were gonna go there right after Carlos was like, hey, fuck face. But they wanted to give um They wanted to give Tyrell a bigger role in the game, so instead they made Jill not go there and they uh sent Tyrell and Carlos instead. Oh shit, we need the lockpick. Oh, it's an insanely dumb reason. And yes, they could have done it at the hospital. Uh... Okay. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Yeah, I love all the... Tyrell's like a way better character in this game. Tyrell in the original just like... He's just... He's just a corpse, basically. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. This is an epic play. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Joe. No. Oh, here it is. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. Ah! Here comes the line. Wait for it. Wait. But the most iconic line, literally. Not even in the Resident Evil franchise, in gaming. What? Where? Where? Where'd it go? Now's my chance. Oh, I know what happened, guys. I'm just memeing. Like That'd be like if if Captain America in, in Avengers Endgame was like, Avengers! Uh! And then you get hit with a pebble and just they just did their thing. Seen a pattern here? First we build a gun. Now we get ammo. Like I said, I I also think this is a great game. But yeah. Carlos, do you copy? There's things you can't deny. And denial is what a lot of people are in with this game. I was too, though. Don't worry. Watch my first playthrough. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, it is a really good game, but just a poopy re3. A map of the area. Perfect.
As far as sewer segments go, I, I sort of like this place, though. But the sewer is sort of the last place I would like to spend the game that revolves around Raccoon City. Oh, I'm definitely this place. For those who haven't played the original, um, the sewer in RE3 original is literally one, just one, like, this is how long the sewer is in the original, ready? And done. Not even memeing. I'm not even kidding, by the way. It's just, it's, you just run forward. That's it. It's like, it's a single, a single solitary room. Uh oh. Remember when everyone thought this was Gravedigger? Yeah, Hunter Gammas are really cool. But this is weird. This is weird. Hunter Gamma in the original RE3, and I've been saying this even before RE3 remake, is my favorite BOW. <laughs> and uh Yeah, but I still like this redesign, but I prefer the original, obviously. Oh yeah, it's just a graphics update. Oh, I should have brought the lockpick. That's okay. You're still getting this weird effect on this right here. Look, you see? Look closely at that barrel. It almost becomes translucent. I guess they didn't fully fix the bug with subsurface scattering or whatever it is. I guess it's not that. Um, I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, maybe this is it. Nope. I don't know how to fix that then. Maybe you can't. So that happened on a lot of things before, um, regardless of what it is, that's not what it's supposed to look like. Uh, watch spiders be an RE4 remake. I'm prepared, guys.
Uh, I should have went this way because this is where the grenade launcher is. Not no zombie chickens. I don't want no reason to kill zombie chickens, okay? Look at the light. You good? that enough? No. Oh, it was. Yeah, I thought, I thought the gammas are really cool. Gammas are intense in this game. Like, it's terrifying. I think gammas are like scary and and intense to fight whereas G adults are sort of annoying. But G adults are annoying because I I like the recovery frames on G adult is not good. They're, using a self defense weapon only to have a literal split second to escape is not like you know, you should you should use a self defense weapon against a G adult and have at least like 2 seconds to get out of there. But yeah, in in RE2 remake Literally, you only have a fraction of a second to escape a G adult after using a defense weapon. And why that is, is because G adult's hitbox is broken for their grab attack. Um, their grab attack actually extends far beyond what it looks like. So visually, they could miss you, but in reality, they actually still grab you. I'm playing on hardcore because this is a casual playthrough, and Inferno and Nightmare make this game very hard to enjoy. Um, in like a casual playthrough sense. They're more so like super challenge runs. Even more so than like, I think Village of Shadows is still fine for casual play. But Inferno's just straight up not fair. It throws like really, really uh, unfair scenarios at you. I do really like Final Nemi on Inferno though. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill, oh thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. I love Village of Shadows. <laughs> hey, buddy.
It's Mr. Cutscene Generator. Nemesis. Uh, we'll do it later. Oh, cool, Ren. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Do -do -do. <laughs> Thank you, Kazil, for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. I think this section is cool, though. That was setting the whole thing ablaze. Thank you, Ride Time, for the four months. Yeah, if you pay attention, you'll notice a pattern. You are constantly being pushed through areas in this game. Like a vacuum, like I said. Which is funny because RE3 Original doesn't I don't I don't believe it does that a single time. It's like the most freely open game. Like, once you get to the train, that's it for the city. But then, from the clock tower to the waste disposal factory, you can go in between the two places. Um... Oh, do I have grenades? I do. Uh, I guess we could bring this. Uh, this is gonna be intense. Do you get a grenade in this fight? I can't remember. This game does not make me worried about RE4 Remake in the slightest. This was made- well, this wasn't even made by Capcom. Where is this grenade? Is there actually? A lot of people are saying you get one. I don't remember. <laughs> Mr. Nemi, please! Listen to the music. Oh my god, that was a that did a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't bring the 
Grenade launcher. Oops. Shotgun cells. Spores. I know, same. I wish they could just loot the stuff, but yeah, another instance where you're in a vacuum. It is funny the contrast though, like about the backtracking, like we can never go back there. We do go back there um, and everything is closed off and we're, we're sucked again like a vacuum to the gas station, but, and then same with here. We can't visit this area again as soon as we would climb that ladder Carlos? and then as soon as we go through that house we can't go back to the next area right. and as soon as we go through yeah. that that alleyway after the house you can't go back to that alleyway again and then as soon as you get back to the town square you go to the gas station you can't ever go back there again don't start yada 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 yada, yada. i did what i had to Game sucks you forward, then plugs the way you came in, like Moreau. Elise says, good music! Outbreak, baby. Outbreak. Please give us outbreak, please. <laughs> reverse, baby. That was a reverse reference right there, guys. Reverse. Reverse, baby. I mean, I think this team made a good game. I'd assume all the bad stuff is just because no, like they they didn't have enough budget. This is a free reload. Nice herbs, Ethan. Double! Shit, Jill. Ah! You're, you're all right. You're all, all right to stretch. Ooh. Sorry, Sorry about that, babe. There. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. 
You can use a man of your skill set. I love their relationship. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, just bad timing is all. Well. God, I wish Kendo lived. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements. Don't okay? worry about me. You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. He's so oh, modest. That's your job, right? Ah! Uh, uh! Take care, Jill. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Or I had to crank the desktop audio for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did humanize Kendo in this. He's not just a walking... But I prefer my Kendo's dehumanized, thank you very much. Oh yeah, this makes Magnum. Oops. The key's hanging on the... Maybe I should take the block pick again. I can't remember if you need it. Oh, wait. I don't know. Alright, guys. Place your bets. Will he get the dodge? Wait. Oh, the key's hanging on the wall. Shit. Yeah, we have a lot of inventory space. I'm going to take it. Just take a look at this. Ah! Uh. Thank you, sweetie, for the 11 months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yikes. Yikes! Ah! Guys, we are... We are looking at the parasites from RE4 right now. This is on hardcore. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't be surprised if that was like an early dev Lost Plagas and they were like, yeah, just use this. Make it so Nemi infects their head and there you go. Uh, honestly, I'm not even like memeing around. That could be the case. And now, say goodbye to that area forever. Oh yeah, this part's so cool. I love the music coming up here. But on, dude, on standard, he has Papega aim. Uh. 
This music, right here, right here, right here. They nailed this. Whatever the. This music that plays right after this part, or this call. It's like straight from the original. Okay, you can hardly hear it. I can hardly hear it too, but yeah. It's not straight from the original. Heavily inspired. And now, again, sorry if I'm annoying. Say goodbye to that part forever. Don't worry, Catastrophe. We all are, buddy. We all are. I would kill him again here, but he just drops flame rounds, so. Father. Boom! Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Listen to Nemesis when he gets hit by the C4 here. He goes, he goes. Right. Listen, listen. Right. <laughs> you okay? right. Thank you, Snag, for the two months. Go. This is like, ah, uh, I. I would kill. I'd pay a thousand dollars for a proper RE3 remake. Well, I mean, I'd go much higher than that, but still. <laughs> I'd. Yeah. <laughs> I'd mortgage my house for an RE3, a proper RE3 remake. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, now you'll be safe. Thank you, Catastrophe. What Thank you. you. Not from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now that we new orders. If it means I can help save the city. It's fine by me. But you know what's awesome? Outbreak can give me all the things that I want from this game. Besides badass fucking moments with Nemesis. Um, but you know what? The moments, like, in the demo section, as sad as it is, like, those are awesome. That, that, that demo section of when Nemesis first shows up and he's chasing you through the donut shop and all those other places, that's true RE3. Like, that is the feeling you have for most of RE3. That's like, they captured it perfectly. And, you know, we got a little bite-sized taste of a proper RE3 remake, but it's only in that one hour of the five to six you have from this game, which is unfortunate, but... Um, so we do have those awesome moments with Nemesis. And beyond that, Man, if we could just see a, an Outbreak remake of, like, 
They could re they could reuse all the assets and it would be acceptable. They could even like there's a subway station level and outbreak. Boom, you already have the subway station. Just extend it beyond what it is right now. Like the levels are there for the picking. It outbreak is like an outbreak remake done slightly better than this game is like free money. The RPD is all done, ripe for the pickings. This is all done. The city's well, the city's not done, but like you know what I mean? They have the building blocks. They have the skeleton to to work with to make an outbreak game. Uh, no, it's not confirmed, but like, man, they they do have the they do have everything they need. Just a matter of doing it. Go back to the subway station. The boys. Oh, oh, man. And they have the perfect... God, Mikhail, Tyrell, Carlos. They're all so cool in this. Ah, oh, would have been sick to play mercenaries. Would have been sick to run through Raccoon City and save survivors. Man, that would have been awesome. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bar. This is a great cutscene. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. <laughs> I'm not going to die on you. I'll leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You got to admit, to find this scientist. their chemistry is awesome. Research could save us all. And like these shots, like the cinematography for some of these cutscenes is so good. And then the pa camera pans over to Nikolai and her face here, like, ah, oh, it's depressing. <laughs> like they know how to make a really fucking good game. You know what I mean though? And this, like, the, like all these shots are so good. They're so good. This part was heavily improved. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it done good. The camera work is awesome in this game. Bye. Oh, getting a little closer, Nikolai. Holy you shit. Worried about teammates? Teammates? Or something else. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. <laughs> a little suspicious there, Nikolai. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just go. They're gone. Yup, he swept. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Nikolai! Uh, I think N Nikolai. One sec. Nikolai is one of the only characters I think is people do debate often if they like the OG or or the other one better. For, but for the most part, every other character is like a, a significant improvement. But yeah, Nikolai is a different character in the first game. Get off my train, shit bird. Giga Chad is right. <laughs> that part's so sick. Get off my train. Ah, here's where it stings. Here's where the stinging starts. <laughs> from, from this point all the way to the end. Besides the hospital. Oh, it stings. It stings. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Why does it sting? Because Jill's visit here in the original is one of the best moments in the classic franchise. Nemesis arriving at the gate, sticking his tentacle through Brad, throwing his corpse away like it's a fucking used tissue, and then standing up and coming straight for Jill. Jill goes in. Dora's getting banged on. 
Nemesis jumps through the fucking window. Bada bada bada. That's why. And now Carlos, who's never seen this place his entire life, has no emotional connection to the RPD at all. He doesn't know Brad. He doesn't know Marvin. He doesn't know anyone in here. Gets to go instead. If this was, if you replace Jill here with Carlos and get rid of um, Tyrell, imagine when she sees Brad and then she sees Marvin. And, and let's say Brad isn't a zombie yet. And then Nemesis comes down and actually does what he's supposed to. Guys, that would have been fucking sick. If you think otherwise, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Jill works here. And then she rushes in to talk to Marvin. You get to see Jill and Marvin have a conversation for the first time ever. Oh, that would have been fucking sick. Like, if you guys don't know, Jill, the stars members operate here. And Marvin is the, like, middleman between Irons and the stars members. This, and Wesker being evil and Irons being evil and Marvin being in between the two. Like, the drama is perfect. But you don't get to see that interaction. Marvin could have went all out and like, Irons did this, yada, yada, yada. Like, you see what I mean? Fucking Kevin could have been in the RPD too. Throw on some Outbreak fan service. Anyway, I digress. I'm just saying like why, you know, people are curious. I, you have your answer. Brad, stop! T. T. You too. Sorry. Sorry. Don't make my mistake. Uniform or not. You do not hesitate. And then poof, Marvin's gone forever. <laughs> like, where's Marvin now? Where'd he go? Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Brad zombie. Come get some. I got this fucker. More salt in the moon, guys. You know, I'm gonna go i I'm gonna go full on in. Alright, so the demo. The the demo to RE3 remake makes you think that it's just like RE3 because the demo section is like RE3, okay? Bear with me. In RE2 Remake, they at in the in the one-shot demo, they actually added, before RE3 Remake came out, they added, if you go right here, you hear Nemesis say stars, okay? Now, what does that make an RE3 fan think? You hear Nemesis say stars right here? Right here? That is foreshadowing, heavily foreshadowing to Jill coming to, like, Nemesis being at the RPD station, or close to it. But, nope. Where'd that cop go? Oh no, no, don't, don't care. We got a job to do. We're back. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. This is new game plus stuff, right? I think it is. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Thank you, Good Tito. To know. 24. I'll Thank you. So you can get I'll go where for the... You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. You know, it has been really fun playing hey. this game again. Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. This playthrough has been, been really enjoyable for me because I don't get to, uh... I don't get to scream out my RE3 stuff anymore just because I... I don't care as much, um, but it'd be nice to have a, another YouTube video for people to watch and just Area everyone always asks what I think of RE3, so it's it's cool you can get all my feelings out. And I hope a lot of you, when watching, if you're watching live or if you watch on YouTube, you understand. Like I've said, a lot of people just ignore this; their brain doesn't work. It's like clogged. There's a lot of stuff I love about this game. Like I mentioned, the cutscenes with the cinematography and the characters and the music and the and the, down design but there's a lot that makes me sad too and i like people to know the whole scope of it like it's not just just like re6 well re6 is mainly a just okay game but like you can say a game sucks and there's still a lot of really good things about it 
Hmm. The shadows are a little. Oh, here we go. This is. Oh, here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for Bard. This is why Carlos came instead of Jill. Some funny one-liners. Like Carl. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I know this is like the argument against it. Like I, I liked, I liked the Carlos section of the RPD. Yeah, I hope, I fucking hope to God if they send someone other than Jill here, they actually make it like semi worth it. Carlos says some hilarious stuff here. Um, it's just. I'd rather like deep emotional moments and really fucking badass action moments as well, rather than a couple one-liners. You know what I mean? And who's to say Jill couldn't have had good one-liners here as well? On top of that, you know what would have redeemed a lot of stuff for me? So, uh, I'll just say it when it happens. What the hell was that thing? Whoa! Couldn't have been a zombie. No shit, Carlos. Here we go. You can actually punch. Did you guys know you can punch without attacking a zombie? Copy. There's something. I could try and do it. I forget how it's done. I don't know what it is. Uh, can't you? It's, um... There it is. Trying to figure out the timing. It's it's actually really tight. Like it's not something that you can just spam. Alright. I tried. It's not very good trying to do it, <laughs> like, effectively. It's so, like, why would you? You could do it for free if you get the first dodge.
I love that you actually- Oh, by the way! Listen close! Can't hear it because it's so low volume. But this actually is a slightly remixed version of, uh... Oh, let's turn 3D audio on. Oops, I, for I always forget. And honestly, I like this version way more than what they used in 2 Remake. Another red. This is still fun for me to play through every now and then because I am... Like, I don't have an absurd amount of hours in it like RE2 Remake. I would like to run this game again one day. Like I said, I would like to do... Maybe before RE4 Remake comes out. Maybe. I'll do what I did last time. Except with the whole mainline franchise. Um. Carlos, maybe. Star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Oh, I didn't even say what I was going to do. Um, but, uh... It'd be nice to run. No save, no death. Like last time. Uh, maybe before RE4 comes out. If I did it, it'd be in like January. But 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, all in a row. Maybe Code Veronica. I guess Code Veronica is pretty free, but. You guys want to see a development red flag? Here's a red flag. No cap. I say this every time I play RE3, but there's always new people here, and... For those don't, that don't have it drilled in your head that... This game isn't all it could have been. Because a lot of people think it isn't. Or it is. All it could have been. This wall's not broken. I guarantee you. They broke this wall in Resident Evil 2 to set up Nemesis breaking through when Jill comes here. And then she didn't, so they didn't break the wall. Why would they put a massive fucking broken wall in RE2 Remake? And then you play the prequel to the game and they don't break it in the prequel. Hello? Fan fiction, yeah. Um, what's the password to this again? Maybe, yeah, maybe it just crumbled. Oh, yeah. Maybe it just crumbled. Maybe it got a little bit of a crumble. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Hey, bitch boy. The prequel, so it hasn't happened yet. But, well, in what game does it happen? Something like in 
in any form of video game or movie, you do the setup and then the payoff. RE2 set a couple things up for this game, and then no payoff because dev hell. Hello? Ah! There you are, dick face. Oh shit. Help! Buddy, can you believe your boys are attacking me? Don't you even care? Yo, where'd you come from? All right, that's it. Here we go. Like, you don't even... You know what's annoying that you can do it on command? You don't even have, like, enough time. Why are the frames dying for you guys? It's so hard to do. Fuck it. The, the FPS... Wait, does the FPS drop for you guys every time I get grabbed? That's weird. Doesn't for me. Man, do you guys remember how much dist practice this area? To like, actually make it work on Inferno? Myself as well. But I didn't practice nearly as much. Uh, well, a lot of speed. There was a point for everyone running Inferno in this game. There was there was one day on Twitch where you just pressed following, and everyone playing RE3 Remake or the speedrunners, it was just this area, because because every everyone's run just kept dying here, so everyone was just trying to figure out how to fucking do it. All right, I'm gonna spam reset until we get this perfect. Copy that. All right, we might if we if I get bit here, I'm resetting because I just want to do it perfect. I love this part. I actually love this dodge. It's one of my favorite dodges. I love this, love this, love this. I have to skip it though, because I don't think you can do it if you watch the cutscene. One at a time, take a one at a time, take a one at a time, take Carlos, one at a time, take it. <laughs> Don't worry, it's worth it. If you haven't seen it, it's worth it. It's worth it. One at a time, take it. Does anyone remember? Is there any RE3 remake runners here? What are the first buttons you hold in? Is it up and right? Where is it up? One at a time, take a number. Why is he in my way? Is DA affecting this? Why why was he there? Why is she here? Why is he there? What? What? One at a time, take a number. Yeah, there we go. Oh, why was that zombie there? <laughs> How did T get here, by the way? Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. 
I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send... Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Mihail. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. I like Tyrell. <clears throat> this will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Like, imagine if you come into this room as Jill, and every desk has an icon of an inspection icon. Yo, yada yada yada. This bear, this is Barry's desk. He's a fucking hot piece of shit. The key is hanging on the wall. Just stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I need to tell you guys my RE, my real RE3 remake fan fiction. Is that Jill in the front row? Ando, you in that? You in there? Ah! Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll okay. Take care of Bart. Remember what I was gonna say earlier about mentioning something they should have included if they're gonna cut 70% of the game? I like how Carlos basically just teleports to Jill. Like, can we play as Carlos as he runs through the overrun city with fucking zombies and, and all sorts of abominations ever? There could be some new bioweapons bio we've never seen in our lives. Can we just play as Carlos on his way to save Jill? That would have been fucking sick. Timer on the top. Well, doesn't need a timer, but you know what I mean. Like, man, there could have been so much cool shit. Am I the only one who made it? No. No. Yeah, Proxy. Yeah, exactly. One day, guys. One day. One day. We'll have our E3 re-remake. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Oh my god. Guys, go watch my blind playthrough. When I seen those blue rounds... Ah, uh, I was like a kid in a candy store, and then I read them. Do do do, do do do, do do do. <clears throat> Mm, I don't think we need three heals. Let's get our pistol. Get our pistol.
Well, I think the mine rounds are cool, but if you guys have never played RE3, there's a mine thrower. There's an actual mine thrower. And in my opinion, I said this earlier, but my favorite my favorite weapon in the game is from RE3. It's the Eagle pistol. My second favorite weapon is also from RE3. It's the uh, Western Custom, which is the shotgun that they use from Terminator 2, basically. And then my favorite ammo is freeze rounds, also from RE3 original. And all three of those things aren't in this. Yo! That was scary. Let's go! I fucked up. Ah, uh, this looks amazing. Like, oh, I I love this. is such a cool part. Well, it's depressing at the same time because you think you're going to the clock tower. Uh, water looks okay. Um, this is such a good scene or shot. Like, ah. Uh, Houses. Yeah, the water. Man, come on, outbreak. Hey, and they could have an outbreak scenario where we go to the clock tower. There we go. Band aid fix. Part, the evilest part of me wants them to cut the entire castle from RE4. Because I, I feel like... I, I know everyone bitches about RE3 Remake online and often. Like, no one shuts up about it. But as, like, a content creator... As a lot of content creators I watch, rarely, like, it's never brought up and they never talk about it. But as someone that my favorite game is RE3, everyone knows this. Or, you know, anyone that asked knows. Um, I'm, I'm in an extreme minority because RE3 is like a cult classic. But RE4 is like a fucking classic. Like, that's like, not only in the Resident Evil franchise, RE4 is one of the most, one of the best well-known games ever made. RE3 is not... Nemesis is well known. The video game, however, is not super well known. Uh, oh man, I uh, no one would hear me anymore if they screwed up RE4. I would just be a drop in the bucket, but right now I'm the whole thing. I hope I have flame rounds on. I meant to put them on. Are you for root? Bitch can't even swim. Fastest transformation in the entire franchise right here, baby. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. They had to use T T Grex's model and AI for something. Wait. Oh, wait. I said, oh, wait, because I want, I was like, wait, I was showing off death animations earlier. I almost, I almost missed this one. I think there's another one right here. I think. No, I guess not. 
If you guys missed it, there's two really cool ones when you first get in the car at the very first of the game that we showed off. I hope I have the grenade launcher equipped. Oh my god, please, dude. I'm trying to pick up the flame rounds. Where are they? Oh, I missed. I forget where he stood. You can't- if you shoot him with the flame round- you want to shoot the flame round on the ground to catch him on fire. And if you shoot him with the flame round, he gets back up immediately, so. I fucked up, though. Reloading. Finally, some inventory space. Monster Hunter moves. Right, let's do this. I didn't have the grenade launcher when I first played through this game, and it just appeared in her hands for this cutscene. I was like, hmm. Yeah, crazy attention to detail. That was in my blind playthrough, by the way. I was like, <laughs> where did this come from? I did, like, I found it earlier. It was just in my box. And I was like, wait, huh? Uh, what would I rate this fight at 10? I think it's a good fight with the mine rounds and stuff and shooting them off the buildings. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I don't think this is a bad fight. I, I like the boss fights in this game. However, well, 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 I don't know. Acid Nemesis is definitely a lazy fight because it's literally this fight. He has like one extra move and that's it. Um, where in RE3 original, Clock Tower Nemesis, well, two things. Clock Tower Nemesis is either rocket launcher Nemi, and then when he runs into rocket launcher ammo, he comes at you like normal in back in the city. Um, but that's only if you choose to get him with the flashlight on top of the, uh, or I, I actually forget how it, it I actually for, oh no, no. If you stay on the train, sorry, if you stay on the train. If you stay on the train as opposed to jump off, you actually fight tentacle Nemi, but not full on tentacle Nemi from like uh, the um, acid Nemesis fight. But he uses his tentacle as opposed to his rocket launcher. So there's two separate fights in the original Resident Evil 3. Completely dependent on the route you take throughout the course of the game. Um, 
And then Acid Nemesis is its own little gimmick fight, which I love that fight too, with the timer and, and doubt you can either douse him with acid or you can kill him with normal rounds. And this game, it's just it's dog nemesis here always. And then in, in the acid nemesis fight, it's this fight again with like an extra couple moves or an extra mo one move. And there's zombies all over the place. And on top of both of those things, boss fights with ads are usually a turn off, especially in RE. Uh, on top of both of those things, the camera actually gets bugged during that fight and you can't see anything. So it's like right up your ass. Like she takes up the entire screen. It's like you're playing a Batman Arkham game. Like you can't see anything. Uh, so that sucks. But yeah, I, I think it's a, uh, I think this fight is good for what it is. Play as Jill for a couple staircases in a boss fight. Now back to Carlos. You thought you were going to the clock tower, bitch! I'm sorry about the FPS. I don't know why it's messing up for you guys. Combat data. Interest. You've done me a big favor, Miss. <laughs> Roughly half a day later. Screw playing as Carlos. Jill. Just teleport there. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Take it, Chad. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. I love the hospital though. It's really well done. Here, one sec, let me check the graphics. Oh, never mind. After this. He forgot his gun on the floor. Well, guys, like we mentioned, there's not very, very big attention to detail in this game. Find it, Joe. That's so funny I'm though. Get you the vaccine. Within five minutes game time. You're gonna be okay. Jill I promise. Jill gets this uh Jill gets this magic grenade launcher. And then five minutes later, Carlos gets this magic uh rifle. Nice, dude. Oh yeah, if you if you just got back, sorry, the clock door section's really uh really short. You missed it. Sorry guys. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Yeah, they they fucking I'll nailed this ahead. though. Like Oh man, the hospital's so good. That everything about this place is uh, well. Besides the, the shootout at the end, fucking sucks. But that's clearly just to pad the game out a little further. But man, love the hospital in this game. So good. As we'll see. I don't got time for this.
Yo. Yeah. Clean your hands. The Umbrella Corporation making life better. RTX definitely on for this part. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like I say that and instantly my game freezes. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Rod. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Does anyone have the clip I'm thinking of? The freaking... I was messing around with cheat engine in this game once. I won't spoil it in case someone has the clip, but... Um... That was so, so funny. It's... You know, it's great. This game has some of the moments where I've laughed the hardest playing a video game on Twitch. For the all the wrong reasons, but... What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Did George work here? I don't know. Maybe? Those reflections. Okay, this is the second time we've seen this. There is a visual glitch. See? Do you see the visual glitch on the wall? The wall is bugged right now. You see it, right? Okay, I'm checking my phone. Getting that... Oh my god, it's too dark on my phone. What's there? Yeah, it's not supposed to be patchy like that. Like, look, it's it's in the air. Like, you can clearly see it's not working ro properly. This uh, this is awesome. Like, man, the the hospital. Aside from that glitch right there. Like, see. When I get close, it sort of disappears. There, that, that's like a big case of it. Um. It was, ha it's the same thing that was happening earlier, uh, in this, in the city. Right before I got the, the fire hose. Remember we were looking at the ground and it was all like watery, but there was no lights on? That's what. Staff only? Too bad. Same visual gifts like in the RE2 remake lab's entrance? Exactly, yeah. The very or very, very similar, yeah. It's orbs, ghosts.
Yeah, this this square area is getting a lot of the glitch. That's unfortunate. It might not even be. It might be my um. Might be a case of the AMDs, but I don't know. Maybe it's for everyone. Should have just mixed them, but whatever. We won't need them. Yeah, Razor. Oh, you get it on a video too? Oh, I see. <laughs> He's embarrassed for me. Ah, oh, man. I can't wait for RE4. I love RE2 Remake and, and like the good stuff in RE3 Remake, like the city and the hospital. Ah, they're really good. I enjoy them. Uh, yeah, it was like subsurface scattering or whatever. There's a part in this game I it was like really rough at near the end. I can't wait to look and see if it's fixed. Yeah, there's a visual glitch happening really often in here. <gasps> Uh-oh. Just like RE1. Just like RE1, look. Hunters are awesome. They, they did a really good job with hunters. <clears throat> Can't do it. What's this again? I can't remember. Carlos could just be a skin for Chris in the next Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, no one knows. No one knows. Oh, no. Yeah, it's the same voice actor. Why not? 9-3. Just two? So glad they did Hunter's Justice. God, they're so cool. And they're terrifying too. Like, when you see a Hunter in this game, you are like, oh, fuck no. Like, you do not want to face them. Because they're tanky, they do a ton of damage, and they're really fast. <clears throat> 
You know, back when I was a little wee boy, when I first started running Resident Evil games, I was terrified to run Remake because I thought I'd always just die to Hunters. I so thought something would break through this window, though. Oops, I, I shouldn't have reloaded. What am I doing? No, oh, I hate when that happens. Oh shit. I thought I had my flashbang on. I you know what you know why I keep dodging out of nowhere? You know why I keep doing this? Because I just played RE2 remake and I never play this game like ever. Uh and I'm trying to pull out my flashbang, but I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting that you have to switch to it in this game. Alright. Eh. Oh, best part! Coming up! All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Great boss. Wow. What a douche. Bird. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's got to be a computer, right? Relic Corp. Oh, here it is. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. RE2 remake music. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to...
that Jill knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! Hey, Ethan's supposed to have those reactions. Is it here? Whoa! Okay, that okay. Now, okay. If you can't see it in this room, then graphics are no of, of no concern to you. Like we're basically running into a visual glitch room. Whoa! It looks terrible. <laughs> like. A great, yeah, yeah, cool effect, but that's not how it should look. <laughs> wow, the hospital, I, it seems like with green lights. Um, It's a consistent thing, am I wrong? Every time we've seen a green light so far, and there's a lot in the hospital, it really, the game doesn't like it, or the RTX doesn't like it. <clears throat> T, I got it. Good, I'm headed your way. That graphics upgrade, though. We already blew off his skull. They have a one hit KO. I should probably be careful. Yo, thank you, Miss Pennybags, for the eight months. Thank you. Nice to see you, madam. When are these saves from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look at those 2020 Inferno saves. So the last time I played the game was before this casual playthrough was 409 2021. Hmm. Oh wait, oh, that's, yeah wait, that's mine. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. And that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Good run, good run. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Yeah, for me it's Animal Crossing. Better grab some gear. 
COVID crossing. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Hope you're doing well, Mr. Enigma. Hey, 57. Double 57s. Best part. In classic RE3 fashion, they have a really good segment and then they ruin it. <laughs> okay. Now the fun shit. I don't like in in my first playthrough I didn't mind this part, but in repeat playthroughs it's like abysmal. I hope that they explode in the cabin. What do you guys think? Do you hope when they do the cabin fight in RE4, the bodies explode? So what are you working on now, Enigma? Are you gonna try and improve your time more in Downpour? Or are you going back to Sonal 4, you said? The prep for GDQ? Oh, did you see there's a randomizer for Sonal 4? Uh, Nub Zombie posted me earlier today, he said he was playing it.
Ah, it's hardcore. Do the thriller, thriller night. <laughs> Not the most genius plan. I mean, it's pretty stupid because like, that could have easily fallen inside of that room and killed both Tyrell and Jill. Like, everything about this part's dumb. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Strategically planted, yeah, just literally sitting there inside of a box. <laughs> Good. Yeah. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. <clears throat> Ballsy motherfucker. Ballsy motherfucker. Classic. Classic. <laughs> Ballsy motherfucker. Chill. Good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Augers. Wait. Not a test. Uh, oh, I suppose we could go around the, um, I never do, but we could go around the hospital. Graphics. More in sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? <laughs> he went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Yeah, so am I. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. 
The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. No. Whatever. God, what's with all- Who put these boxes here? Yep. Cool, dude. Thanks. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh my god, I haven't used the Magnum in this game in so long. The game is begging me to go check that item. Handgun rounds. Oh no. Squeeze by. Magnum. Hell yeah, Skeeter. <laughs> Lightning Bach? Yeah. Look at that hair. Immersed. More handgun. Oh, this must be the way underground.
Yeah, yeah. It's all tech. Oh, yeah. Nesto? Who's ready for El Nesto in uh, RE4? El Nesto. I know I am. Take the pistol. Why do people- there's like three people that said that. Did I not pick up the lightning hawk? It's right there. Thank you, flamboyant Merc, for the seven months. Thank you. Oh, you sure can. Hey, Jackass! I don't have the lightning balk, though. Oh, shit! I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our games end here. Unwanted enemy right here. I could have went the game without fighting these pieces of shit. Give me back naked zombies, not whatever this is. Diet regenerators, yeah. Basically. Music in here sounds like amnesia. Can hardly hear it though. Woof! Bruh! Bruh. Did it. No, wait. Oh, I forget what's on this. There's a reason to do this. I don't remember why. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, that's a good question, second like chance. Oh. 
All right, let's hope this guy's to kill me. I think I know when to, um... There's, there's a consistent way to do this part. All right, here goes. Pick that up, doesn't matter. Thank you, Archangel Rise, for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Freeze! T. Joe. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. The best one-liners in all our games, probably are we'll for the young. And this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. That's why. That's why. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop, stop and, and do what? what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Nemesis got in here somehow, and he he fits perfectly. Ooh. And he kills Tyrell over his main target, Jill. Yeah, exactly. Like. Silly game. Thank you, Axel. Uh... Yo, and thank you, Mr. Plastic, for the Prime Gaming. So many Prime Gamers! Thank you, Prime Gamers, for the sub. Thank you. Thank you, Amazon Primers, for doing a great service for our beautiful stream. Primers going in. You know what? I don't know.
Thank you, Elon Tusk, for the 15 months. The Papa Primers! Key successfully generated. What have we here? I hope so, Splat. Override key removed. Oh, thank you, Mr. Plastic. I appreciate it. This area looks awesome. Look at those refl look at those reflections. They're actually working. It is a little sad that the um, ray tracing is a little bugged in a few places. Or, well, I don't know if it's the ray tracing. It might just be the game. Yo! <laughs> FPS drops. Oh, that's Inferno. Oh my god, my FPS is like tanking. I shouldn't have said anything. I don't think so. My FPS is king though. <laughs> um We could just turn this off. Might help. Acid rounds. Yeah, array trace this. I should have. This must be what powers it. Brought the magnum. Hopefully we'll still be okay. Oh, best room. These are tyrants. 40 FPS. I wonder why it's so bad in here. Lots of rays being traced, I guess. I like that one. Way too many rays being traced right now. Holy moly. Lag! Oh, I was spamming the dodge button. So here's a fun fact. Uh, the enemies here are... are invincible. Or... God, this looks terrible. I am sorry, guys. Ugh. The enemies here are invincible until they reach a certain area. Let's hope I don't get myself killed. Let's hope I don't get myself killed. Holy shit. Let's trace those rays. God, it's so laggy. <laughs> that 
that was the one shot KO. Yay, we're back to normal FPS. Brian. Hey, yeah, this might work fine. Like, and I also have it on 1440p on max graphics with ray tracing, so. Um, that's asking a lot of my computer, I think. Get your disgusting teeth out of here. Oh my god. All these all these grabs I'm taking, it's just like I don't have enough time to dodge anything. Uh let's see. I haven't used the Magnum in a very long time. Thank you, Jared, for the big 770. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That is a long time. Thank you, Peach Blues, for the Prime. Thank you, Dash, for the nine months again. And thank you, and Supers and Legend, for the B27. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. This has been fun playing through this game again. Slowly. Puzzle time. More handgun ammo. Puzzle time! Place the materials in the chamber. Mm -hmm. Go in there, materials. Yes! Freeze! Who are you? Oh! Sorry about that. Right hand comes off? Thank you! For the raid, Mrs. Licious. Welcome, everybody. I'm pl I'm seeing the epic new graphics in uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Best game of all time. Thank you, Miss Licious. What were you up to? Uh-oh. Oh, really? Oh, man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. This room does not work very well on my computer. Thank you, Atreus, for the 24. Thank you, Boclistix. Thank you, Bean, for the 20. Make sure to follow Lime Malicious, an awesome streamer. Thank you again so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Thank you for all the follows, everybody. Oh! Ooh, we can see what this death scene is like. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Let's see. There she goes. Thank you, Raffle, for the 12 months. Fatal application exit. Uh oh. My malicious has brought the curse. Brought the curse with her. It wasn't very nice. Did was she saying any weird like voodoo things before she raided me or? 
Did you hear her chanting or anything like that? Thank you, the Honeyman, for the 43. Thank you, Razzy Freak, for the 19. We saved it. There it is. Wait. No, this isn't it either. Oh yeah, is the autosave still there? Oh, it is. Cool, thank you. All right, I'm not going to actually skip this cutscene because I'm too afraid it'll crash again. Took a while to register. We made it. Yawn. All right, I'm too lazy for this. What in God's name is this place? Step two. It's gonna throw the grenade right away. Who's here conveniently? Ooh, what do we have? I like how he's always like no, exactly where he, he needs, needs to be. Vaccine. More than I do. Hmm. I don't think the wisdom oh. I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. Eight. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat dark. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. A nemesis just sitting down there waiting for you to finish your conversation. His health ticks down if he's on fire here. Okay. Let me spot if you watch the cutscene. Good idea. Spot for me, bud.
Oh, I have the Magnum. It's actually not a good idea to do too much damage to him here. Finally enough. Yeah, kill those zombies. Uh, hello? Stun lock? Forgot to add the lightning hawk to my fucking thing. Yo. He should be dead, but you see he's not? I think he should be dead at least. Number three! Number three! Goodbye, Nemi. Okay, I'll meet you up ahead. Nikolai? Nikolai! I have to get that vaccine back. I miss ass. I miss final Nemi on. Those speedruns were intense. You print money. I like this way more than the original final boss fight. Way more. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I like them. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Drop the gun! Oh, uh, they, okay, there's the final boss from RE3 original. And here comes Remake. It's a nice touch that he comes out as the slug. I think that's cool. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck, Nikolai. Joe, go after Nikolai. This part's sick. Listen to the music. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look. Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. He's gonna knit your armpit. There it goes. Here, I love this part. When you first shoot him, and the music kicks in, and, and the things pop out of the wall, it's fucking sick. Watch.
And her legs can totally handle that. <laughs> Felt that, did you? How about some more? Oh no! Oops. Oh my god, he has so few pimples on normal mode or hardcore. Oh it's oh it's on hardcore, shit. I forgot. I could have went and did that other one if it was on standard, but I, I I may have gotten away with it actually. It's too slow. Grew more pimples. God, he's so slow on anything but Inferno. <laughs> half my half my playtime in RE3 is practicing this boss fight. Time take the fucking hint. You know how many female streamers want to do that exact thing to some random that hits up their DMs with like 20,000 sentences every single day, all day, and then they respond with a single word, and then the crazy person responds with another thousand sentences, and they respond with okay, and then the person responds with another million sentences. In some dude, there's been a lot of visual glitches in the lab. Being from experience, well, I'm friends with a lot of female streamers, and uh, yeah, I guess not from my own experience, but I get to hear about it. Oh, I can still catch him. Let's do this. Umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Oh! Oh my god. It's like Krauser versus Leon. Except hands. Pretty good fight. Shoot him! I like. Oh my God, Nikolai can bite him. Like bite him. You do it. You have to. There's no other way. Carlos. No, Barry. Feels bad, man. I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. 
That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you, if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! You're a fool. <laughs> if I die, you'll never find out the truth. Nah, I'm... I don't mind little detective work. I've seen it enough. That one isn't a rare one. I think most people have seen that one. I, I maybe I should have though. Nikolai. I do miss Barry. God, the graphics are so good in this game. Jill, you all right? Oh, um, oh, it's a great speed game, Lit. Yeah, it's it's really good. Um, the worst thing about it is the intro. washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. How ironic. That's exactly how this game was created. I decided um, then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. Um, I would end them once and for all. Is Barry appear in any other games besides one and one remake? He's in RE3 original. He's the one who saves Jill and Carlos. He flies in on his own chopper and picks them up. And he's also the main character in Rev 2. This was sick. I really enjoyed replaying these games. I'll put all three on YouTube, RE2, 3, and 7. But I'm, I'm going to put the Beast and Rev Claire on my VODs channel because I think it's too much to like 